sister. That's why I'm here. Taking uh -huh. care of the kids. Tell us about the uh, well, since this story broke uh, a little over a month ago, I have set up a nonprofit organization called Feed the Future Forward. And uh, my plan is to make a difference in the lunch programs around our city. That's simple. And now this is my fifth district. In the Katy, HISD, Spring Branch, Side Fair, and Aldi, taking care of schools. Today will be close to over 900 kids and close to about $6,000 spent on lunch programs. So where are your funds coming from? A private and corporate donations right now. We've got a lot of people in the community, family, friends, folks I work with, businesses around the city, and all over the nation. People have sent money from Australia, Canada, Europe, and about every state in our United States. Yeah. How did it start? I mean, how did you start this idea? Well, how did you get it? I, I went to my school and saw that they had a lunch program, an alternative lunch program there, and I went to my school and inquired about it there and was fortunate enough to take care of some lunch debts at Spring Branch. And when the story broke, things went crazy. People wanted to get involved, and from what I hear, all over the country, people are going into schools, taking care of lunch accounts, if not businesses, corporate people going into their districts and taking care of a bunch of accounts as well as individuals. So I thought that uh, this is a, a real need. We need to take care of our kids. So I started my organization and it's going great so far. I'm here today taking care of kids. That's what it's all about. How does it make you feel to be so involved and to do something so positive? Come on, it makes us all feel good, right? We're taking care of these kids. That's what it's all about. So what do you see as the future for your organization? Do you have any expansion plans? Or? I do. I've been contacted by other cities throughout our state and other cities throughout the country. I, my hope is to get more money into my account and take it around the state, not around the country. Yeah. And what's your, uh, what's your next uh, school district that you're going to be going to? That's a surprise. I'm still working on that right now. <laughs> but we do have a couple of schools in mind. And if people want to support your cause, how can they do that? They can go to our website, feedthefutureforward.com, and they can make a donation there. And do you ever need help with volunteers to... I can get to the point where I, where I will be needing volunteers. Right now, it's my wife and a couple of friends from work and myself, and it's getting busy. So, and I've got have a lot of offers for people in the area as well around the country to help. Now, you said you selected, you selected districts kind of by emails that come in. Are these emails from... Well, I, I do. That's part of it. But I also try to look at the poverty level and see what kind of problems in the school. And uh, primarily, we're focusing on elementary schools and Title I schools with a high poverty level. But we don't want to discriminate. We want to take care of all the kids eventually in every district around our state. We need to change this. It's, uh, it's an issue that... Not only I am aware of, but I think now our country is aware of. Now, before you became like this big lunch angel, I guess everybody's calling you. Like, what, what's your job in private life? What were you doing? I am a union stagehand. I work for Theater Under the Stars primarily, and I still have a job. I go to work next week, so that's wow. my job. What is the message that you're trying to send? If, if there's a, a motto for your program, I mean, what would it be? All for lunch, lunch for all. There's, I, I can't understand why we can't take care of our kids at lunch. I think it's a, a, a real problem. Myself, I feel that way. Uh, I've seen it firsthand. I know the shame, the humiliation that goes along with the alternative lunch. The kids know it, and I think it's an issue that we need to take care of. We need to feed our kids lunch. It's the only meal we can control every day in the school. When the doors close in the morning, they're our kids. We need to take care of them. Well, everybody knows that lunch is real important for a child to succeed in school. How this feeling, what's boring is it of you heart? I'm sorry? How this feeling, what's boring is it of you Oh, this is, this is, I, I get excited every day I, or every chance I get to do this. I'm excited today. It's, I leave here uh, very happy knowing that the kids have a zero account balance and they won't be harassed or bothered with the negative lunch balance. They will just go through the line and eat a healthy, hearty, fair, nutritious food. Do you have kids around? I did. I have a 14-year-old a, a in the Spring Branch ISD school district, and I have another boy who's out of school. Okay. 
What does it say about these school districts that let you do this? Because a lot of times there's red tape, and even though you're trying to do something nice, there's always this issue, but they're letting you No, I haven't had a problem yet. Most of the districts have been open-armed about me coming in, or volunteers or parents coming in wanting to take care or uh, be a part of their, you know, their school. Uh, I haven't run into any problems yet, and I hope I don't. Yeah. Talk particularly about here at Site Fair and, and how they've been. Gracious, open-armed, uh, you know, just like most districts, they are wanting, you know, the community to help support their school, whether it be a monetary donation or volunteer, mentoring, tutoring. I mean, I've seen all of that uh, step up a notch also. I know for a fact that people have gone into my district inquiring about how to become a mentor, how to volunteer, what else they can do in the school to help. So I think that's a big part of this. Not so much just the monetary donations for the lunch, but, you know, I'm a parent as well as most or parents have kids in the district maybe or in another district and it's a problem or a situation in every district. If you could have a message for anybody out there, a private citizen that wants to try to help a problem in the community, what would you tell them if they, especially if they're sitting there thinking, oh, I'm just one person, I can't do anything. I'm just one person. Look where I'm at now. Uh, I recommend you go into your district, your school around the corner or where your children go or if you don't have children, you know, there's a school around the corner from you that probably needs some help, whether it be mentoring, volunteering, or taking care of the lunches for the kids. Not a hard deal. It's pretty easy. Could we get a word? Sorry. 